I forgot to record the pencil line and、uh, the steps. So we start with the whole shapes first, and we are going to move to the the eyes. We're gonna do the pupil, the black dot in the middle, and trace around the shape of the eyes. And then we find the color of the eyes. You can use blue or、um, green color. So around the eyes can be darker, and from dark to light. In the center, actually, it's a little bit lighter than the、uh, outside areas. And then we're gonna color the 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 head areas. So we're gonna trace around the. Eyes. So leave a little bit of white areas around the eyes, and then we're gonna start coloring, coloring very gently first, and uh, you don't have to do the feathers right now. Just start coloring very gently. Follow. Just go one direction, and always remember erase the pencil lines first. Because the pencil line may cause the problem of the outlines, because later we're gonna do around the shapes ha having a little bit feathers coming out. We don't want to have a, like a black lines、uh, trace around the shapes. So we use like a little bit dark pink color around the head area, and then change to the light pink color. Just color very gently and use the blendings, and then we're gonna coloring a little bit darker using like a short lines as the feathers. So for the edges, you can see the lines can come out a little bit, so you can you can make the lines coming out. So it looks like the feathers coming out. Slowly adding darker colors, and also flamingo has different shades of pink. Sometimes it can be like orange pink, dark pink, light pink. So in this picture, we're gonna use a little bit of brown color, orange color, light pink, dark pink colors. So those colors need be added gently, and the layers by layers. And we move to the neck part. Just slowly, uh, follow the directions I did. Try to just coloring like this first. We don't need to do any feathers yet. Just following the directions and coloring the whole neck, and the whole um head areas like this. But you don't want to see too much pencil lines. So please. Um, be very um gentle and、uh, blend those colors. In the beginning, just quickly to color everything first. Use one color, and then we're gonna st start. Uh, adding more different colors, different shadings, and adding feathers later. So the neck and connect to the head part is kind of like a cylinder shapes. So they will have like dark to light, and the under part will be darker, and the top part has the, has the light, so it will be lighter colors. So you want to you don't want to see an outline around it. Erase the pencil lines and then color them very lightly. And the follow the flamingos, you will see around the shapes will be darker. You're gonna find the the darkest part for the bottom of the neck, and then we're gonna slowly coloring darker and darker. Remember when you color them, you try to follow the directions. Now we're gonna using the darker pink, adding more shadings. You can see from the edges, we try to adding a little bit short lines coming out from the shapes, so it looks like a little bit furry. 
When you do blending, you don't want the color too dark in the beginning. You want to slowly blending the colors. We、we'll、use a little bit of light brown colors with dark pink colors, and adding darkening dark shade, shading, slowly adding more short lines around the head, so it looks like the feathers. And then we're using a little bit black, but when you use black, you don't want to. Press too hard, so gently press, adding a little bit shadings, just using like、uh, shadings and using short lines to create those、uh, the feather looking. Now we're gonna move to the head top part to do more short lines around it. Follow the directions to see how those birds feather grows. So follow the directions. The feather grows, and then you're gonna start adding more little lines. The lines is pretty short. Be very gentle to practice the lines first. It looks like a more furry fat feathers. Colors are naturally blended. You don't want to color one side very dark. Since they are like、uh, birds, has feathers, they don't have like outline trace around. You want to see those little short lines coming out from the shapes a little bit. Flamingo has different shading of shades of the pink colors, so that's why we're adding a little bit orange color around it. Very gently, don't press too hard. So you can use a purple color and a dark. Mm, brown color as the darker shading colors, so now I'm using the、um, purple to shade the darker colors around the neck. Later we're gonna add in darker and darker, but you can see、mm, for the edges we didn't want to create a sharp line. We want to use like a short lines create like a little bit、um, details of the feathers coming out a little bit. The bottom of the neck has the strong shadings, so we're gonna slowly adding darker and darker. Now it's not too dark right now, but so we're gonna slowly adding darker. You don't want to press too hard in the beginning, and、uh, to make it too dark because it will will be very difficult to fix. So we're gonna add in dark colors slowly. Also, they have reflections on the back of the neck parts, so that's why we didn't color the whole thing dark. They will have dark to light, and also reflections. Now we're gonna using darker color, adding a little bit more dark dark feathers, using short lines. The short line can be randomly everywhere around the neck part. You don't have to be too organized. As you can see, when we do the darker part of the round the shapes, we always try to do like a short lines coming out a little bit. Don't create a very sharp outline for the flamingos. Even when you do other kinds of animals or birds, um, things that have fur or feathers, they won't be. Having like a really sharp outlines to, um, to make the. Sorry. <laughs> so was that changing color? So the back of the neck has the reflections. So we change it to a little bit, the orange colors. 
We want to blend those colors too. You can keep changing colors、uh, using shorter lines to create more feathers. For the next part, we are adding more and more shadings. When you try to make the feather colors, like those little short lines, you can keep changing to dark,、um, pink or purple colors, adding a little bit brown colors too. Now we're gonna move to the back. First, we're gonna use like a light color to do those shapes first. So the feather shapes is from the top to the bottom. You can see we're gonna use like curve lines, create like a little triangles, um, to do the shapes. The top part will be a little bit smaller and slowly become bigger shapes. And longer shapes of the feathers. Since they have layers by layers, later we're gonna start shading them lightly first, and then we're gonna adding more shadows on the bottom. So we're gonna adding more bigger feathers on the bottom. The top one is more smaller. Than the than the bottom part. Remember, the feathers don't have to be too organized. You want to be more natural. And now we're gonna find darker colors to trace around them. So on each one of the feathers, bottom part will be darker because. The top layer of the feather creates a shadow on the bottom of the feathers, so you want to try to blend out the shadowing things on each feathers. In the feather areas, we're gonna try to use um different colors. So in this flamingo, we're gonna use purple, light blue, orange, red, pink colors to create the feathers. First, we're gonna find the similar areas, similar colors to coloring first. So we don't have to keep changing colors. We're gonna color the areas at the same color first. So save you a lot of time. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. In these areas, they are randomly. So if you do the shapes different, like mine, or you have less feathers or more feathers, that's okay. They will come out the same result. So you don't worry about. I have to be exactly like mine, exactly like the same shapes, the same same feathers.、Uh, you don't worry about that. Just to see more. Uh, more shadings and the layers is more important. The feathers out um for the bigger shape of the feathers, the outside is darker than the inland inside. So you want to do color outside first, and the blended inside a little bit lighter color. The edges will be a little bit darker, because they are layers. They create shadows around the shapes. So we can slowly adding the shadings later. You don't want to color exactly the same color next to each other. That's why we start changing colors, and since the feather has like a line in the middle, you can try to color the line a little bit darker for some of those feathers.
I color around the shapes first, and then slowly adding dark,、uh, adding lighter color in the middle. So the transition from dark to light is very important to create the shape and create a shadowing of the each feathers. If you're feeling tired, you can rest a little bit, and then we're almost there. So doing this part is need to be a little bit patient, but you will see when you slowly they will come out with a really good result. And then the neck connect to the feather, the wings part. They are create a lot of shadows. So remember that part is really really dark. Is the neck connecting to the feather? We're gonna slowly add in darker, like we always do. You always slowly add in darker and darker. You don't want to be too dark in the beginning because、um, it's very difficult to control. So the last layer of the feather will be the darkest part. You can just blend it dark to light, gently. So for this feather, you can see in the middle has like a white line. That's why we draw the lines first gently, and the two lines first. So leave the middle parts a little bit lighter color, and then when you blend it from the middle to the outside, dark to light, and then we're almost there. Be patient, and just keep blending different colors. The feather can be very colorful. It's okay, and then when you finish shading almost everything, we're gonna slowly add in darker colors now. Just remember, the top feather is the first layer, and then they have a、uh, the, and then they are slowly adding the shadowing on each five feathers. Now we're gonna trace the outlines. When you start tracing the outlines, you don't want to press too hard. You want to be very gently to move your pencils. And then you see the each each feather on top creates the shadows for the bottom layers. So you're gonna start it blending the shadowing from dark to light. You will see which part is on top, which part is on the bottom. The bottom part has the shadowing, and the blending the shadows on each um lower part of the feathers. Now we're gonna start coloring the rest of those feathers we didn't color. The outlines can be darker, so you can always trace around the outlines. You can change a little bit colors too. You can make a little bit more like a, um, purple blue color feathers. But you don't want those color to stand out too much, so we're gonna add very lightly.
When you use color pencil, don't press too hard. Um, there's many ways to use color pencils. Uh, you want to be more like more gentle, gently pressing. Some of the artists like to press really, really hard. That's that's type of that's other type of the artworks. In the future, we we will do those kind of art too. But in this picture, we want to practice in the blendings, the shadings, and how it looks like more three D. So we don't want to press too hard. Sometimes pressing too hard will waste a lot of time and a lot of the pencils. So we just want to be gently first. Now we're gonna to move to each part of the in the bottom feathers, adding shadows for them. So when you create a more and more darker shadows. And darker shading parts that looks like more, uh, more deeper inside, and it looks like more realistic, like they're having like more, like a three D looking. Sometimes art takes time. So you you need to be patient and also to um, to see things more carefully. Hayo就是在画画的时候呢，你们也可以。嗯，多观察，看哪些地方需要多一点，嗯，shading啊，画画的过程当中，就是很多地方都要靠自己去多多的，嗯，观察，还有自己去看一看，还有比较，就是 compare which part is darker, which part is lighter。so you're gonna slowly adding darker colors and lighter colors. And you will see we slowly we're still adding more shadowing. So makes the top feathers they are on top and then the bottom feathers has shadows. Now we're gonna fix the whole thing. Now we're gonna to move to the beak. So in the middle line of the beak, you can find the black line, and also with where is the black colors, you can just color them dark colors. Right now, just color them very dark, uh, black colors. Don't press too hard, as we always do. Don't press too hard. We want to slowly add in darker and darker. And then we're going to move to the top of the beak. You will see the top of the beak will having the purple color or maybe pink color. We're going to slowly blending from the edges to inside, dark to light. You can see we're connecting to the to the eyes area, and then you can see from the feather to the beak, we leave a little bit white part. Don't color the whole thing. You want to leave that area a little bit white. You see the pink color between the beak, we having a little bit white lines, just like the eyes around uh around the pink areas also has a little bit white lines. So you want to keep that area white. But you don't want to draw a line there. So don't rem don't for don't remember don't forget to leave white but without any lines around it. And then we're gonna add pink colors, blue colors, adding dark dark shadings. So 
So you can fix the shapes, adding more darker colors around your beak and connecting to the head part. Now you can use the dark colors, you can add in more feathers around your um, flamingos. The edges too, we want to fix more and more, making them more realistic. Now we're going to use like a light gray colors to shade around the eyes with the beak, having a little bit outlines. Even the feathers can adding a little bit gray shadings, gray feathers. But just press it really naturally. I mean gently. Let let the color blend it inside your feathers naturally. Now we're gonna move to the sh the dark part now. So the neck connect to the body is the darkest part. So we want to do the uh, shadings better. We're gonna slowly add in more and more feathers coming out of the shape a little bit, not too long, because they are very short feathers, a little bit like a furry. We're gonna add in more shadowings too, darker colors too. And then we're almost there. We're almost done. Hooray. This may take you hours to finish, but you see what's turned out. It looks really nice. I need to practice and also need your patience. We're slowly adding more and more.